Record it started. Good afternoon. My name is Elias Sucatos, and I would like to share with you uh, my project called Merlin AI. With me is Dr. Fulvio Fariña. So Fulvio is a PhD in nuclear physics, and he also works for AI Monkey, uh, my company. And well, he has been working with me in this project called Merlin AI. And the idea of Merlin is to make artificial intelligence that feels like magic. So Merlin is an open source voice activated agent that controls your computer through the terminal, just like <laughs> Scarlett Johansson in the movie Her. Anything you can do in the terminal, Merlin can do. So Merlin has his own voice activation function like Alexa, meaning that you say Merlin and he enters in listening mode. But unlike Alexa, once Merlin is in listening mode, you can have a conversation with him without having to call him every time. So when you call Merlin to perform an action, he writes his own code on the spot and then he runs it and gives you an audio response. So Merlin also understands your computer directory because he stores every path in a vector database. So he also knows how and where and where to move and how to operate. So as well, we have integrated a multi-step reasoning process in Merlin, meaning that in every step of the process, he stops to reason so he can understand the responses he is getting from the terminal. So he can adjust his execution based on the plan that he had, and then he can generate a new plan based on the outcome he's getting. So he has seamless computer control, so he can launch applications, he can execute uh, prompts. Let me show you right here a little bit. So I can just run Merlin like this, and just a basic command, if I say hello, he will respond. I don't know if you guys can hear the the audio response that he just played, no. but he well he he read it to me. So I'm just gonna use the the boy the text function here. But if I ask something for Marilyn, can I, I say, can you create a folder in the desktop called Lev? He's going to create a folder in the desktop called left wow <laughs> so he created the the folder name left something really interesting with merlin is that he has smart file operations so all my directory is embedded in a vector database so if i ask something like do i have books by asimov He performs an, a search and KNN search. And then, yes, he's talking to me right now. He's saying, yes, these are the books that he has. It's called The Roman Republic. And well, I actually have one in EPUB, one in, in PDF. OK. So as well, Merlin can also do things like I can do like open Chrome and he can open Google Chrome. <laughs> I can say close Google Chrome. I can say all those type of things and he's going to perform the operation. But Merlin also has the capacity to do complex task handling. What do I mean by complex task handling? It means that steps that go beyond one single step means you have to reason through every step. For example, I have this folder here in the desktop called test. If I open the, de the folder, it has a series of files inside with names of animals. And I apologize that I put the, the files in Spanish, but these are animals in Spanish. So sometimes people have very messy desktops or things like that. So Merlin, I can say, you know what? Organize animals, animals in folders in the test folder. 
and then he first he needs to scan then he finds the animals which are the animals and then he creates a classification so this is another one and then at the end of the operation when you open the file here the folder you see that all the hold on let me turn that off okay you see that all the files that were a complete mess well now the birds are in the birds file now the the mammals are in the mammals folder he organized it like this but if you have like a whole bunch of books or things like that he can also go through your computer and fix that but the something really interesting about merlin is that merlin speaks to you i didn't turn the, that functionality uh, right now because i was just demonstrating with text but you can also say Merlin, and he speaks to you. So please, Fulvio, explain that functionality. Okay, give me a moment. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, this is a, a diagram, a flow diagram of what how Merlin works, the, the voice detection but I will show you the application running. So, hey, Merlin. Our last conversation was about weather, Donald Trump Aquarius. Why is the sky blue? The sky is blue due to Rayleigh scattering. When sunlight enters the Earth's atmosphere, shorter blue wavelengths scatter more than other colors making the sky appear blue. What is Bitcoin in a few words? Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency that enables peer-to-peer -peer transactions without a central authority. Can you create a wallet for me? Which type of wallet would you like to create? Create or recover? Also, which blockchain? Bitcoin or Litecoin? Create a Bitcoin wallet, please. It's executing some scripts, so. Bitcoin wallet has been created. Please take note of the following seed phrases. Master seed phrase, slave seed phrase, backup okay. seed phrase. Melding a stop. Make sure to store them securely as they are essential for accessing your wallet. Melding a stop. Give me a moment. Melding a stop. Wait a moment. Melding a new stop. Bitcoin wallet has been created. Please write down your seed phrases below. Maybe it's Master not that seed phrase. But... I cannot seed hear you. Merlin, Slave stop. Seed Slave seed back. Seed fray. Backup seed fray. Make sure to keep these seed phrases secure and private as they are essential for accessing your wallet. Okay. Merlin, stop. Merlin, stop. Understood. Okay. <laughs> okay. So he finally understood and it, it, became, it started to be in idle mode. So can, could you hear the answers that Merlin gave yes, you? you? Can, can you yes. press Control C, Fulvio, just to cut the because he's still yes, just make him Sorry? Some. Yeah, yeah, just make him some. Yeah. Uh, so well, that's the part that reacts with the voice, and I can show you how it how it does it, and then we're gonna merge it with the part that uh, Elias showed you that is, is going to convert all these voice commands to text commands to do stuff in your computer, like open the Chrome or whatever. So right now I was creating a, a Bitcoin wallet, but somehow I got stuck repeating the same thing over and over. Um, let me show you how it works. Um, the user runs the program and the Merlin, the main thread, starts to wait for the wake up command. And I immediately gives you some greetings message to let you know that it's starting the program. Enters a standby, and the moment it hears, hey, Merlin, which is the wake-up word, 
uh, it starts um, that uh, it, it, it tells the thread that you're going to start um, working and the sleep word listener becomes on and now the wake up listener becomes off and retrieves a store summary of your last conversation. So it will immediately tell you about what was your last conversation in order to pick up the conversation from where you left it. Uh, then the program activates the open microphone thread to start listening to command for commands and activates the chat GPT thread, which connects to the open AI artificial intelligence uh, and makes query. So the user starts speaking and the software starts to record audio and starts the listening thread. So the moment the user starts speaking, it detects the sounds over a given threshold and determines the recording starting point. Then when the user stops speaking, it detects the silence threshold and then determines the recording stop point. In that way, it will determine that the track audio track starts from a given point and ends at a given point to generate this audio file. And it filters it in order to discard every um, track that can be so short because it just here for a, a given noise, not to, to work on it. So after the filtering, it sends this audio track to the to an inbox. And, and there is a thread looking for incoming audio tracks. The moment it receives one, it picks it, and then it transforms the audio track to text by means of the speech to text thread, which is actor, which is a speech to text thread here. So once it's transformed, it will make this text from the audio and it will put it into a um, inbox for the chat GPT thread to start uh, making queries to OpenAI. It gets an answer and it accumulates that answers to a list. Then after it has an answer, since this answer, answer for a text conversion to the uh, to the text to speech and uh, transformation from text to audio is performed and finally it sends to the greeter which plays this answer as an audio track to the user back uh, the moment the user says merlin stop the silly word is detected it deactivates the open microphone it also deactivates the chat gpt but it will do first a request a summary of the conversation to the OpenAI or ChatGPT thread. It will make a query of your last conversation items and it will store a summary in a file. So when the moment you say Merlin, hey Merlin again, and you wake up the, the, the wizard, it will give you a summary of that conversation. So for instance, if I now restart the thread, it will give me a summary of what was the last thing we talked about? And it's a three three word summary because otherwise it will be too long. Okay. Uh, thank you, Fulvio. Uh, so the interesting thing about Merlin here is that we coded everything and we did this project before ChatGPT uh, real time came out and before Cloud came out and we have been doing it slow, but the entire code has been hours and it runs locally. For example, if you use the real-time API, you need to use a WebSocket, Socket.io to, to, in order to send the voice command. So this is internal still, well, there's a lot to go, but we are deciding to make Merlin open source and something open so everyone can see it, everyone can play with it. And then maybe one day it becomes something that becomes a little bit more trendy. So thank you for the space, Lev, and... <laughs> uh, Elias, uh, can you show the, your GitHub page? Mm -hmm. I shared the the URL, but... Yeah, but it's, it, it's good to see. Uh, mm -hmm. can, can you share your screen? Because we don't see your screen. Yes, here. Can you see my screen now? Uh, oh. Not yet. Hold on, here. Okay, so we see your screen. So this is a GitHub for the project. And uh, 
So everything you were showing is is here, right? The the code. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the, this is perfect. This is open source project. Very funny. Like I remember when you were demonstrating it before. It like, <laughs> really, and and you even put put it in a like a toy Merlin. <laughs> so he was talking to you. Yes. So. Uh part of the code that we have that is not in this repository, but we will include is everything to run it in the Raspberry Pi. So I have a small Raspberry Pi and the idea was to replace my, the idea happened because I was really tired of my Alexa not being smart enough. Yeah. So it, it basically you have, uh, well, we can call it agents or whatever you call them threads. It's kind of similar to Manus, right? But uh, Manus is very sophisticated. It's using like 29 different uh, open tools. Uh, yours, I guess, is more limited, right? But at the same time, it's completely open source and yes. real fun to and, work with. And to be honest, uh, we have this code since like one year ago. And I just open sourcing it because uh, I started seeing things coming out that do exactly the same we were doing before. and. I, at the moment, I I didn't have like the the time or the energy or the recognition in order to like, hey, this seems exciting, and it just stayed there. And then people started to develop it. But we, I do think that we were when we built it a little bit ahead of the time. Yeah, definitely. And you know, you know, because you you saw the demos like like one year ago, so you yes. know, I'm not. This is not true. Fake. Well, the first one was like a year and a half ago. It was in the fall. Anyway, uh, thank you. I'm stopping recording.